SMABO. SMABO is one of my acronyms. It stands for Small Moments Affect Big Ones. And SMABO is one of the most important things as a parent that we can embrace and try and understand. That all of our small interactions add up. And then if we have a lot of really positive, empowering interactions throughout the day, then when we have small moments, right, then when we have a big moment, all of that is added up in the nervous system, in the relational system. And then when we have a big moment, it impacts it in a positive way. But if we have a lot of small moments where we're controlling our kids and telling them no and restricting their freedom and having little moments of tension, and that happens over and over again, then that builds up the pattern in the nervous system. And then when the big moment comes, that's what's going to that's what's going to have the effect, right? And so small moments affect big ones is really important. That's why I tried so hard never to say no to my kid. And I know I always get criticized for that. And someone's going to say, "Oh, if you don't say no to your kid, they're going to end up in jail." That's every comment, every time I post a video, someone tells me that I'm going to uh, end up with my kids in jail. But let me tell you, I with my mother, I've been doing uh, workshops in prisons for a decade, and and people do not understand what big <laughs> what lands people into jail. Not telling your kid no is not what does it. There's a whole lot more that that does it. First of all, the parenting we often model our parents off, uh, parenting after the the, the uh, prison system, after the police police state, you know, and uh, in control and punishments and consequences. So like we're already setting them up for that mindset, and then you have like all the societal oppressive systems um, that, that that end up, you know, poverty and oppression and racism and patriarchy and white supremacy and capitalism and poverty and all the things that land people in jail. But it's not because you don't tell your kids no. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing. I'm laughing at you. Yes, I'm laughing at you, the person who's going to write that comment. The reason I didn't say no to my kid as much as I could ho- ho- po- humanly possible not say no is because every time I say no, that's a small moment that adds up for the big one. It's the small moments affect big ones. And it adds a layer and layer a layer. So if I say no, she's expecting a no. And when she expects a no from me, when your kid expects a no from you, then, there, then there's a tension when they come to you, when you're around, you know, when you interact with them, when you're trying to guide them especially. There's a tension because they're expecting the no. But if they're expecting a yes, the moment that you have to say no, it's so much easier that, for them to accept. And this is something so powerful that if we rarely ever say no, then they're so much more open to it when we need to. And sometimes we need to, right? But... I would say 90% of the time that we think we need to, we don't really need to. And we can find a way to say yes. And if it's not exactly 100% yes to everything that they're asking for, it can still feel like a yes. Or it can feel like we're putting our effort towards the yes. And then that builds up the layers. But it's not only yes or no. There's so many different areas of life where we can focus on SMABO. And then we can take the small moments. They spill something. SMABO. They swear at you. SMABO. They hit you. SMABO. Every single moment that something happens, they don't do their homework, you know, they're, they're on the screens too long. How you interact with them around these things in the everyday moments of life will impact the larger moments. And those larger moments, you know, when things are really hard, that's when, we, that's when all the work we've done to create the relationship, all the work we've done to create the patterns, all the work that we've done, um, you know, to make ourselves a safe space, approachable and, uh, and easy to get along with, and that our guidance feels trustable to them. All of that work pays off in those big moments when we really need things to be, you know, to be, to be working well, when we really need to flow, when we really want them to listen because of safety or because time or whatever it is. Um, and so SMABO is so important. So think about that. Think about as you're going through your day, watch all the little moments throughout the day. And what kind of layers are you creating? What kind of patterns are you creating? And try and create those things really consciously in alignment with your values and in alignment with what you want. Um, to create in your relationship. And that'll make all the difference. So SMABO. So just say SMABO. You know, when I do workshops, I get everyone to yell out SMABO and everybody goes SMABO. And, uh, and then I have parents who later on, they'll go, Vivek, I remembered SMABO and it changed how I reacted to the moment. And that's the most beautiful thing. All right, everybody, SMABO, peace out. Please check out my free course, Guiding Without Controlling on MeaningfulIdeas.com and follow me on, this, on all the spaces at Meaningful Ideas. And that's out. Peace out. I love you. I wish you all. the best.